Gerolando, George from Canada, Skia Skia, Italian pronunciation, D, Latin small letter S, Er, modifier letter vertical line, Lando, Latin small letter S, modifier letter vertical line, Latin small letter S, A, Latin small letter S, Latin small letter S, A, February 15th, 1934, March 18th, 1999, was a New York City mobster and a Cooper regime of the Bonanno crime family, who was also the sixth family's representative from New York, and was a major narcotics trafficker in Canada and the United States. Early life Skia Skia was born in Catholic Iraclia in the province of Agrigento, Sicily, the same area as Montreal Mafia boss Vito Rizzuto. In 1955, Skia Skia immigrated to Montreal, Quebec, Canada, later moving to the United States, to New York City three years later in 1958. His business headquarters was a small jewelry store in the Bronx. By the mid 1970s, Skia Skia was established in New York with the Sicilian, or Zip, faction of the Bonanno family. However, Due to his Sicilian upbringing, Skia Skia also had close ties to the Bonanno crew in Montreal, which included Rizzuto. At this time, the Bonanno leadership considered the Rizzutos and the Bonanno crew in Canada to be under their firm direction and control. Three Capos murder on May 5, 1981, Skia Skia participated in the murders of dissident Bonanno Capos Dominic, Big Trin, Trincara, Alphonse, Sonny Red, and Delicato, and Philip Lucky, Giacconi at a Gambino crime family social club in Dyker Heights, Brooklyn. Rizzuto came from Montreal with two Sicilian hitmen to join Joseph Mazzino, Salvatore Vitali, and Skia Skia. Skia Skia escorted the three rebellious capos into the club. Once the men were inside, Skia Skia signed all the attack by slowly running his fingers through his hair. At that point, the men burst from the closet and started shooting. During the massacre, Salvatore Vitali observed Skia Skia shooting in Delicato in the head. When the three capos were dead, Skia Skia and his Sicilians quickly left the building, leaving the cleanup to Vitali and the others. Narcotics Indictment In 1983, Skia Skia was indicted for attempting to transport 46 kilograms of heroin from Canada to the United States. To avoid prosecution, Skia Skia fled to Montreal. In the 1980s, while living in Montreal, Skia Skia served as the liaison between the Rizzuto crime family and the Bonanno family in New York, managing drug trafficking between the two countries. On the New York side, he worked closely with Gambino mobsters Gene Gotti and John Carneglia. In 1986, Skia Skia was arrested by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police RCMP based on the U.S. trafficking charges. In 1988, after two years in Canadian custody fighting the extradition order, Skia Skia was deported back to the United States. Wealthy from his heroin trafficking days, Skia Skia moved back to New York and established a small construction company in the Bronx. On February 9, 1990, Skia Skia was acquitted on the narcotics trafficking charges in New York. Government witness Sammy Gravano later claimed that the Bonanno family paid the juror $10,000 to block Skia Skia's conviction. In July 1991, Skia Skia applied to the Canadian government for readmission to Canada, basing his application on his son Joseph's residence in Montreal. In 1997, after a long legal battle, Citizenship and Immigration Canada deemed Skia Skia persona non grata and denied him readmission to Canada. Friction between criminal partners in the 1990s, relations between Maz Sino and Skia Skia had started to sour. Skashia was becoming more independent of Maz Sino and more aligned with Vito Rizzuto. Growing richer and stronger, Rizzuto became less willing to defer all decisions to the Bonanos. On April 30, 1992, Skashia's top lieutenant in Canada, Joseph Lopresti, was found shot to death in a Montreal lot. Lopresti, a Bonanno made man, was murdered without any prior notification or approval from the New York Bonanno leadership.
Skiaskia defended the killing to Salvatore Vitali as justified because Lopresti had become addicted to drugs. On oh, a later occasion, when Ritsuda refused to send the hit team to New York to kill Bonanno target Robert Perino, Skiaskia infuriated Masino by again supporting Ritsuda. When Bonanno Capo Anthony Graziano, a Masino loyalist, appeared high on drugs in a meeting, Skiaskia started telling other Bonanno family members that Graziano was a substance abuser. When new family boss Joseph Mazzino heard about Skiaskia's complaints, he felt Skiaskia was attacking him also. Feeling that Skiaskia was challenging his authority, Mazzino, in a jealous rage, decided to have him killed. Murdered in early 1999, at a wedding anniversary party, Mazzino gave the following message to Salvatore Vitali, George has got to go. The plan was for fellow capo Patrick De Filippo to invite Skiaskia to a meeting to resolve an ongoing disagreement with Graziano over a marijuana racket. It was crucial that the murder not be linked to the Bonanno family in any way to avoid a potential conflict with the Rizzuto family in Montreal. On March 18, 1999, Skiaskia received a note at his jewelry store telling him to meet De Filippo at a Manhattan dinner. At the dinner, De Filippo told Skiaskia that they were driving to a different location and the three men entered the mobster John Spirito's SUV. As Spirito drove the vehicle, De Filippo shot Skiaskia four times with a silenced gun. The gunman then drove to a deserted Bronx street where they left the body on the road. A passerby saw the dumping and immediately called the police. Aftermath vacationing in Mexico, Masino immediately met with each of the Bonanno Capos to tell them he did not know what happened to Skiaskia and theorized it was a bad drug deal. However, in private, Masino reportedly remarked, it served him right for telling me how to run the family. On July 30, 2004, Masino was convicted of seven murders, including the Skiaskia murder. With prosecutors intent on asking for the death penalty, Masino quickly offered to become a government witness. On June 23, 2005, Masino confessed to ordering Skiaskia's murder along with other murders and several other crimes. He was sentenced to life in prison. On oh, January 11, 2006, De Filippo was indicted on several federal racketeering charges, including the Skiaskia murder. However, on May 9, 2006, the jury exonerated him of the murder charge. References Family Ties Trip Up Would Be Immigrant Canada says applicant is member of American Cosa Nostra by Estanislao Oziewicz, The Globe and Mail. Further reading Sifakis, Carl. The Mafia Encyclopedia. New York, De Capo Press, 2005. ISBN 0-8160-5694-3